get almost like a jammy dodger very vaguely it's not as i said jumping out on me here it's not as vibrant as i would have expected <laughs> Hello and welcome to another episode of A Beer With Bob. Today's episode is titled Ich bin ein Berliner. I am a donut indeed. So what are we going to be drinking today? That's right, we are going to Wales and we are going to be drinking Tiny Rebels Pump Up The Jam Jam Donut Pale Ale 5% ABV jam donut flavored beer there are two things that you cannot consume in this world without licking your lips a jam donut or a good beer and tiny rebel have supposedly combined the two here in this very can yes this is believe it or not a jam donut flavored beer five percent abv so reasonably strong uh, oh, well, without further ado, let's have a look at the can. It's pink, it's vibrant, it's a wonderful coral colour with that Simpson style donut slap bang in the centre of the can. Look at it, it's, it's an attractive can, it's going to stand out amongst most other cans on the shelf. Let's open this one up and get this into my glass. Okay then. Remember when you're pouring your beer, a beer with no head is dead. So let's pour it into the glass there. Chug, 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 chug. Get a nice head on this. Okay then. So it's, it's copper colored. It's a deep reddish, Almost marmalade looking, like a Seville orange marmalade. That's what I'm thinking here. It's got a reasonable head on it. It's uh, quite lacy, if you will. Not that thick and creamy as I would have wanted. Uh, little bits of bubbles and carbonation going on there. So let's give it a smell now. It's meant to smell like a jam donut. It's not jumping out at me too much, the jam donut smell in this one. It, it really isn't. I would expect this to be leaping out at me with the jamminess there. You know, the doughy malts, giving a maltiness. Let's give it another smell. So I am get almost like a jammy dodger, very vaguely. It's not, as I said, jumping out at me here. It's not as vibrant as I would have expected. But you do get it. You do get the jammy donut-y smell from it. Not punching you in the face, but at the same time, if you, if, you, if you read the can and smell it at the same time, you can smell it. You know, you need to be thinking what you're smelling rather than smelling it and thinking it. So let's give it a taste now. Wow, wow, wow. Pump it up and while your feet are stomping, get the party going on the dance floor. It does taste like a jam donut. It is, simply put, a jam donut flavoured beer. It's exactly what they said it is. It's sweet and jammy. Mmm. Jam, sweetness, maltiness there. Little hints of vanilla. Juicy, very juicy. But it still tastes of beer, which is remarkable. So, oh, just in the back there, I get a creaminess in the back of my palate, actually, just as it goes down the gullet. So it starts with jam and berries, then it's a bit cakey with maltiness, and right at the back, a little creaminess, crispness, a little hint of bitterness at the end. Paul Hollywood would walk up and shake this beer 
by the hand. He certainly would. It's a jam donut beer. This can, it's exactly like Ron Seal. It does exactly what it says on the tin. I like this beer. It's delicious. It's a really nice tasting pale ale. It's not sessionable though, you know, you're gonna drink, it's an occasion beer, you know, once a week, going out on a Saturday night, a good opening gambit perhaps. Uh, too much of this would be sickly. Uh, so it, it's not, you're not gonna guzzle this, you're gonna have maybe one or two, it's probably good on a hot day actually, really nice for barbecue, something like that. You know, sun shining, this beer will go really well, a bit cold, you know, swill it around the glass a little bit. Mm. So, Tiny Rebel, Pump Up the Jam, Jam Donut, Pale Ale. I'm going to say that is a 3.8 Bob beer. Until next time, people, stay safe, stay inside, and keep drinking. Mm -hmm.